Hey guys, welcome back to my channel on the menu. Today we're gonna make spiced sweet potato scones. The version that I'm making for this video is gonna be gluten-free. However, you can easily swap out the gluten-free flour for regular all-purpose flour without having to make any other changes to the recipe. So let's get started. So to start, we're taking two cups of flour and one tablespoon of baking powder, then adding a quarter cup of regular sugar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, one half teaspoon of salt, an eighth teaspoon of cardamom, one teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth teaspoon of nutmeg, and then we're gonna mix that very well. So here I'm gonna work in my half cup of unsalted butter. I have my butter shredded and I keep it in the freezer until I'm ready to use, that way it's nice and cold. You want your butter to be very cold. Um, a lot of times people will work their butter in by dicing it into little squares and then using a pastry um, blender, but I like that method. And then here I have a half cup of my uh, buttermilk, one egg, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I'm just mixing that together. And I'm gonna blend that in with my quart three quarter cup of mashed sweet potatoes. Now here I have my baking sheet lined with um, some parchment paper and then I've lightly floured it. Now the gluten-free dough is a lot stickier than regular dough when you're doing this and so you just wanna gently press it down because it's gonna keep sticking to your fingers. Regular dough is much easier to work with so you won't have this issue. Cut your dough into triangles and then place it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, you're gonna preheat your oven to 400 degrees. This is gonna bake for 20 to 25 minutes until lightly golden brown. Now let's work on our glaze. I have a half cup of powdered sugar, an eighth teaspoon of cinnamon, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then I'm adding in one tablespoon of melted butter. As you can see, it wasn't creamy enough, so I'm adding in one teaspoon of milk, and then I'm just gonna blend it really well. When you take out your scones, you're just gonna drizzle it over them, let them cool for about five minutes beforehand, and there you go, your sweet potato scones. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you make this recipe, I'd love to hear your comments below.